Hey guys, Chris Ignato here. Thanks for stopping by. So it's April right now, and this is a great time to start seeing fence lizards scurrying about, courting one another, you know, disputing territories, and pretty much doing their thing. So check it out. Fence lizards are somewhat of a common species of lizard. There's at least one species or another being represented throughout most of the regions of the United States. Fence lizards are, well, the only species of lizard in the mid-Atlantic region that has rough scales. Their scales are strongly keeled, taking on almost a raspy appearance. They look really cool when the light is at the right angle because those, the scales just really stand out with a lot of contrast. Adult fence lizards can generally be anywhere from, say, 4 inches up to, like, a little over 7 inches. They're generally around 5 and a half inches. Fence lizards or pine lizards are basically sexual dimorphic and again that just means that the males look different from the females. In this case, females are generally more on the grayish side, you know, a combination of grays, whites, and blacks, whereas the males are usually a brown or tannish and in some cases an orange or gold color, making them the most colorful of the two sexes. The females also have these rather distinctive bands or zigzag pattern on their backs, whereas on males the markings are a bit more subdued and blend in with the rest of the animal's appearance. Immature males can sometimes look a lot like the females. Personally, my favorite aspect of the fence lizard is not those keeled scales, although I do love those is the fact that the males have this iridescent, striking cobalt or lapis blue markings on either side of their belly and again on both the left and right sides of their throat. And just like the scales, they can really be quite a magnificent sight to behold. And the sex doesn't matter whether it's male or female, those markings serve as a perfect camouflage. And if the animal stands still, chances are I've probably overlooked hundreds of them and never even knew it. You might be asking yourself how this lizard got to losing its tail. Well, let me assure you, it's got nothing to do with me. Many lizards and even salamanders have this wonderful built-in defense mechanism known as caudal autonomy. Let's say a bird or some other predator grabs the lizard by its tail, the lizard can easily detach its tail with very little blood loss, that tail will continue to wiggle and distract the predator as it tries to catch it and swallow it down, allowing the, the amputee to escape the danger and live to fight another day. Over time, that, that tail will regenerate, although it won't be quite as long as it originally was, and the color and markings will be rather different. A lot of the amphibians can even regenerate entire legs should they be lost but it takes time. There's another group of animals that does something extremely similar, and I'm sure you know who they are. That's right, arthropods. Awesome stuff. Their favorite environments are usually open pinelands or meadows, but they like other habitats too. Most of the time, I find them on logs or tree stumps, and of course, the trunks of trees. If I don't see them, I'm sure to hear their claws scurrying about the tree trunks, because it's a distinctive sound or to the side of the tree opposite of me, just like a squirrel does. On the other side, I can't see it. Not only do fence lizards use body language to communicate, but they also communicate chemically. These lizards have pores that emit pheromones. They can place those pheromones down in a trail, allowing them to find each other easier during breeding season. And I imagine it's a safe bet to assume there are probably other messages transmitted through the use of pheromones too. Check out how, how strange their, their hind feet look. I guess that allows them to you know, hang upside down on the fences and bark and stuff easier, but it is kind of funny looking. Now, I might have frog toes and all, but I realize now I'm, I'm thankful I don't have lizard toes. There you go, typical guy doing a bunch of push-ups to impress the girls. Yeah, tell me it's not spring break. 
Come on, man, you're making me look bad. You know, for me, no trip to the Pinelands is complete until I come across at least two or three fence lizards. They're so fun to watch and there's so many cool things to say about them, but for now, that's all I'm gonna talk about. I wanna thank you for watching this video, and once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.